What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to clean a dove and give you a dove opener recap. So we ended up only getting eight this morning. Me and my two bros, we hunted some burnt wheat, wheat fields out in central Oklahoma. And we scouted it two weeks before dove season. There was probably about a hundred of them in this one field. There's three fields north and a, there's a field on the north side and there's a field on the excuse me south side and we got there a little bit late and the the north field was ev too many people too many there was probably a, a group of people or a person every 20 feet on the edge of this wheat field it's just a little too many for me to feel comfortable shooting in and i don't want to be causing accidents and i don't want to get involved in any accidents so we ended up hitting the south field we seen lots of birds we seen upwards of four or five hundred birds throughout the morning probably could have had our limit if we were better shots but it's definitely a place to say me and my two brothers were definitely rusty i ended up not getting any footage of it but i wish i did but that wheat field though after it was burnt me and my brother or well, one of my brothers we laid eyes on it I mean, I'm talking thick. Dove were everywhere in this field. They were in the trees. They were in the field. They were everywhere. They were buzzing around. It was going to be a good hunt. But we ended up not getting the spot we wanted. So we had to settle. Like I said, we had to settle for the south field. We were going to hunt in between, in between the two so we could get birds going back and forth. But we ended up not getting to do that. All right, guys. So here's what I like to do when I clean them. There's many different ways, but this is what I do. So first thing I do when I take the dove, I pull the wings back, pull them back, stretch them out, go ahead and get them out of your way. And I like to grab the dove, the dove, take it like this, your hand, dove, just like that, and then peel back. Pro tip, make sure you get a trash bag so you can dump all your feathers in so you don't have a mess in your yard for the rest of the year. Okay, and then once you get it looking something like this, I like to take the two legs and just fold them back. Fold them back just like that. Get them out of your way so you have plenty of room to work with. And after that, you should be able just to rip that skin back. Just grab you a little bit and pull it back if it doesn't come with the feathers. Just like that. Alright, and after you get that skin off, you should be looking a little something like this. And what I like to do, you take your pointer finger, go right in here, find that little hole, Grab the dove, and sometimes you gotta be a little rough with it. Rip it out. Now you got the whole dove breast, and you can just cut that off, put it in your little bowl of water, and you can just cut that off later. That's what I like to do. Hey guys, thank you for watching today. Next week, be expecting a teal hunting video. Not gonna spoil it for you guys, but I got a lot of them locked down. Anyways, enough of the jibber jabber. Like, hit that subscribe button, and peace.